Hi, welcome to Power of Economics YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn and understand the sales law of the market. Before that, if my videos are useful and if you are really enjoying it, do remember to like, share and subscribe because it keeps me going on. Come, let's jump into the video. Before understanding the sales law of the market, let's get to know about sales. This law is called as sales because this theory was refined by John Baptist Say. He is a French economist. His lifetime was from 1767 to 1832. Well, France is a developed country, the world's seventh largest economy by nominal GDP. In this map of France, you can see that he was born in Lyon in 1767. It is the second largest student city in France and famous for universities and school education. Then he died in the capital of France. We all know that Paris is renowned for Eiffel Tower and is a major European city. John Baptist Say is a classical economist. This theory was developed in 1803 in his book Treatise on Political Economy or the Production, Distribution and Conception of Wealth. This theory comes under the classical theory of macroeconomics and classical theory of employment. J.B. Say expressed a sentence that supply creates its own demand. He means to say that production creates the market demand. This sentence may seem to look so simple but it has a great value. The ability to purchase a commodity or service is depend on the ability to produce and generate income. If you want to understand what is production, I have provided the video link in the description below this video and make use of it. This law can be applied to barter system and monetized economy. Barter system means when commodities are exchanged for commodities. Monetized economy means Currencies and coins are used to exchange the goods and services. Thus, money acts as the medium of exchange in monetized economy. Let's first understand and apply the sales law of the market with the barter system. Here producer A and producer B specialize in the production of wheat and carrot. Producer A keeps some quantities of wheat for his personal consumption. Same way, producer B keeps some quantities of carrots for his personal consumption. Here, producer A exchange his surplus wheat with carrot. And producer B exchange his surplus carrot with wheat. Here, both the producers efficiently produce more quantities to consume many more other commodities and services. They can exchange their commodities with many other commodities for consumption. If produced more, then can consumed more. So now, production creates demand in the barter system. Therefore, supply creates its own demand in the market. Now let's understand the flow diagram of Say's law. Producers use the labor intensive techniques to produce commodities and services and provides a remuneration to the employees. Here the households generate income by working in the production unit and they consume and save from their income. When households consume Producers will generate income out of profits and invest in the production again. Here, the flow diagram reveals that production itself creates demand in the market. Let's apply the monetized economy to the sales law of the market. 
the logic of supply creates its own demand works somewhat different in production production of goods requires employment of factors of production they are land labor capital and entrepreneurship the employment of factors of production generates money income in the form of rent salary interest and profit here the owner of the land receives rent laborers receives salaries and the investors receives interest for the money deposited in the bank and the entrepreneur receives profits so they are earning an income in these different forms production of goods and services are meant for sale in the market income earners spend their money income on the goods they produce it states that if there is production there is income if there is income there is demand for goods thus the supply creates its own demand in the economy these are the assumptions of say's law of the market he states that supply creates its own demand but not that demand creates production jb say assumes the market as barter economy and jb say assumes that no general overproduction and underproduction because whatever is produced is consumed in the market and when there is full employment in the economy resources are properly used for long run production therefore optimum allocation of resources is possible and savings is equals to investment whatever is saved is used for further investment therefore savings is equals to investment in the labor market when minimum wages are given more laborers can be employed so these are the assumptions of say's law of the market These are the propositions and implications of the law. Propositions means the ideas of John Baptist say about the says law of the market. Implications means the future effects due to the ideas. So firstly we have full employment in the economy. When there is full employment in the economy in future there will be an increase in the production and due to the increase in the production there will be an increase in the demand for goods and services. proper utilization of resources when there is full employment in the economy idle resources are properly used idle resources means when a skilled laborer is not given an employment opportunity is called as idle resources on the other hand if a skilled laborer is given an employment opportunity is called as a proper utilization of resources perfect competition so when perfect competition is there there is free entry and exit there is no restrictions in buying and selling or consuming the commodities in the market automatic and self adjustment in the capital market savings and investments are maintained with the help of rate of interest when rate of interest increases investment decreases when rate of interest decreases investment increases role of money as neutral the idea of role of money is neutral in this law is because this law is assumed to have an barter economy so barter economy do not have currencies or coins to exchange the commodities therefore there will be no effects in production due to money laissez faire policy so there will be a minimum government intervention in the decision of production there is a freedom for the producer to make decisions based on their plans savings is a social virtue it is a moral discipline of the society to save criticisms of says law jm keynes in his book The general theory of employment, interest, and money criticized the says law of the market. J.M. Keynes is the father of modern macroeconomics, and he 
criticized the law for the following grounds. He says that supply does not create its own demand. In modern economies, it is not applicable. Whatever is produced is not consumed. For example, during Diwali festival, most of the people purchase crackers, but some do not purchase crackers as they have a conscious and awareness about the environmental pollution. Burning crackers have a negative externalities like noise pollution, air pollution, which is harmful for human beings, animals and the natural resources. Therefore, we cannot assume that whatever is produced is consumed. Self-adjustment not possible After a Great Depression and pandemic situations, people's purchasing power will be decreased. During these situations, central bank must interfere in the monetary policy to decrease the rate of interest to increase the investment, employment opportunities and consumption. Money is not neutral. In the Say's law, the economy is under barter system, but in a monetized economy, money plays a major role in investment, in business and money is a medium of exchange for any services a labor does in compensation with money as income. Overproduction is possible. Keynes do not agree with this proposition. All the income from the factors of production is not completely used for savings and investment. Some are automatically invested, therefore savings is not equals to investment. Underemployment situation in modern economy, supply may exceed the demand and millions of workers search for job for current wage rate and even below that but remains unemployed due to various economic conditions. State intervention Lysis way policy may leave the economy to Great Depression. When there is mass unemployment, the government has to implement any physical policy that provides employment opportunities by giving free training and entrepreneur development programs. Equality through income Keynes do not agree that savings and investment is always automatically adjusted by the rate of interest. It may also change due to the income factor. Wage cut no solution. Pigo favored the minimum wage cut solution to increase the employment opportunities. But Keynes opposed to such a policy because wage cut may lead to unemployment. A flexible monetary policy to flexible wage policy to raise the level of employment in the economy is very important. Demand creates its own supply. People do not spend their whole income on consumption. Therefore, based on the needs and wants, people demand for goods and services. I hope that you have very well learned and understood the sales law of the market. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.